Before you go snapping photos for your latest Insta story, you might want to keep your distance. <laughs> I think I think that's the last thing that I was thinking of. All right, tough guy. If you think you can take down a gorilla in a fight, think again. <laughs> what is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be trying out this video called "How to Survive a Gorilla Attack." So I found found this YouTube channel called like "How to Survive." There's a lot of cool stuff on there. I feel like we should check some of this stuff out. But this one is how to survive a gorilla attack, okay? <laughs> Gorillas freak me out. Um, just because they're so massive. And they're 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 like they're like us, but just like just just huge. Like they can they can pick stuff up and throw it at you. Like they're 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 crazy. But anyway, let's go find out how to survive a gorilla attack. Let's go. Imagine you are hiking high in the mountains of Rwanda in East Africa. Suddenly, you hear a rustling in the bushes. Before you know it, you're face to face with a giant silverback gorilla. Before you go snapping photos for your latest Insta story, you might want to keep your distance. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the last thing that I was thinking of. If, if I'm out there hiking, next thing you know, I'm face to face with a silverback gorilla, I'm not, not, not going to go, oh, hey man. I gotta take take a picture for my Instagram story. <laughs> like, no. Probably fate, to be honest. <laughs> you might want to keep your distance. Otherwise, this could be your last selfie. Hey, oh, this is how to survive a gorilla attack. Although you might think of gorillas as angry and aggressive creatures, Hollywood doesn't always show their good-natured side. Generally, gorillas are calm and peaceful animals that keep to themselves and thrive on a plant-based diet. If you happen to fall into their pen at the zoo or come across one in the wild, stay calm and listen closely. How do you know if a gorilla feels threatened? Why do they pound their chest? Can a human defeat a gorilla in hand-to-hand -hand combat? All right, tough guy. If you think you can take down a gorilla in a fight, think again. A gorilla's can live up to nine. <laughs> oh, God. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, w I would love to see somebody try. I would love to see someone who's dumb enough to think that they can fight a gorilla in 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 hand to hand combat. That way, that would be a funny video, just because you probably die. But um, yeah, that's funny. Again, gorillas can lift up to 900 kilograms and throw a punch with up to 450 kilograms of force. That's like being hit by a truck. Oh, As the damn. largest living primates, they can weigh up to 310 kilograms with an arm span as long as 2.6 meters, or approximately 8 feet. They also damn. have much thicker skulls and skin than humans. So even if you're Mike Tyson, you won't stand a chance. <laughs> so if you can't fight them off to survive, what should you do? Step one, stay calm and keep your distance. Be sure to keep a good distance from the gorilla. If it feels you're encroaching into its space, it may threaten you by grunting and hooting. Try not to scream or freak out, as this might be seen as an aggressive display from the gorilla's point of view. If it feels its warning grunts are being ignored, it might stand up and start pounding its chest to really show who's boss. If you don't defuse the situation quickly, things could get ugly. Step two. Do not run. <laughs> Your first instinct might be to run as fast as you can in the opposite direction. But gorillas respond to hierarchy and may view your quick sprint as a challenge for dominance. <laughs> trust me, you do not want to race a gorilla. They can reach speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. To Dang. put this in perspective, Usain Bolt's world record in the 100 meter dash was 44.72 kilometers per hour. So, it's probably best to stay put. Step three, be submissive and look away. 
Don't look a gorilla in the eye or make any sudden moves. They don't like staring contests. <laughs> You're better off to look down at the ground. This will make you appear less threatening to the gorilla. Also, as thrilled as you might be seeing this beast in the wild, do not smile. Flashing teeth is viewed as a sign of aggression to gorillas. <laughs> Step four, <laughs> make yourself small. In the dating world, being tall might be an attractive feature, but if you're one-on-one -on -one with a gorilla, they may see your elevated stature as a threat. However tall you are, you and your ego will want to get as small as possible. This will show the gorilla that you aren't the dominant one. Step five, pretend to be a gorilla. Okay, please don't go pounding your chest like a gorilla. You're not Tarzan. Instead, pretend to nap or eat some foliage to show the gorilla that you are the same. If this still doesn't work and it charges at you, turn around and get low to the ground. Hopefully, it'll lose interest by your display of weakness. Step six, do not resist. If the gorilla sees through your terrible acting, it may try to scratch you, bite you, or drag you around like a doll. I'm sorry it's not the standing ovation you were expecting. However painful this might be, do not fight or try to escape. Just go limp. Uh, that'd be kind of, that'd be kind of tough. I mean, if he's just grabbing me, dragging me around, that'd be pretty, pretty scary, but I think I could handle that. But the, the scratching, the biting thing, eh. It's gonna be tough not to resist that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that's that's insane though. How painful this might be, do not fight or try to escape. Just go limp. If you're lucky, it will eventually get bored of you. Once the coast is clear, get to safety and seek medical attention immediately if you're hurt. And if, by chance, you're driving back to civilization in a post-gorilla frenzy, be sure to make those hairpin turns carefully, or else you might find yourself hanging off a cliff. Talk about a rough day. Whatever the situation is, if you want to stay alive, keep watching How to Survive. Alright, those were some interesting things. Some things I did not know. For one, the whole the whole smiling thing. <laughs> Don't smile, man. You get you get you'll get killed by a gorilla if you smile. That's tough. <laughs> but so basically, if you run up on it, man, I mean, just get down to the ground and act submissive. I guess like, uh, that's your best best option. <laughs> uh, yeah, because you don't want to fight them hand on hand. Face to face combat, you'll get whooped. You don't want to run because they'll catch you. So that's tough. That's tough. But uh, you'll never find me where they're at. Okay, you, you'll you'll never find me there. I'm sorry, that ain't gonna happen. But uh, that's uh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. But uh, that's how to survive a gorilla attack. But all right. Thanks for watching this video, y'all. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Much love. Deuces.